Force and Ron Caps. Ron Caps knows the thrill of victory and agony of defeat. Last season was unlike any other he's experienced in his storied career. Ron lost the NHRA Funny Car title by a mere two points to teammate Jack Beckman after leading the chase for much of the season. This is Ron Caps' moment. This was the fourth time the fan favorite and social media icon has come up short. This time, Ron believes the reality of the shortcoming was compounded more than ever before. Well, the, the whole ending to Pomona and the ending of the championship and, you know, losing by two points and it took a while to get over it. For some reason, this one just felt a little different. Mostly because I had my 16-year-old daughter and I was looking forward to that moment of maybe finally winning a championship and have my family member down there with me. And I got out of the car and I, you know, I was okay. Jack ran after us and he lost. He came around the corner. I went over and shook his hand. And uh, I didn't feel as much pain mentally and, and emotionally as I did in the past uh, until my daughter got out of the tow vehicle. And it was, she lost it. Uh, and then it, it really hit me at that point. Success only intensified the pain. Despite a 4-3 win-loss record in the first four events of the season and a DNQ, Caps rebounded for five national event victories and a 3.96.4, the quickest elapsed time in funny car history. In a drag racing world of one upmanship, Ron understands he's got a tough road ahead if he hopes to improve on his success of 2012. It's tough because a lot of times you look back, wherever you finish, even if you win a championship, you look back and you try to figure out where you can be better. And that's the first thing you do in the offseason. You see, what, one thing the countdown really kind of did with everybody's mentality is you don't necessarily have to set the world on fire early. You just have to be great those last six races. But you've got to get in, obviously. I'll tell you what our mentality is. And I think I can speak to probably a lot of teams out here is you want to just try to win races, make your sponsor happy, stay up in the points. If you can lead the points and make the newspaper going in and leaving a race that you're the points leader, it makes the sponsors happy. Um, but you need to peak at Indy. Ron and tuner Ron Tobler understand they have a tall order to one-up last year's performance. The taller the challenge, the more determined the team steps up to show their championship medal with hopes of topping the field with the ultimate goal in mind. What's fun about Ron is he uh, he loves being a crew chief. He loves thinking about how to make the car better. He loves he loves the fact that I love to drive the car and I love to how to I can be better at making the car go and and, there, and on down. It's the way it is with our team. So you know we decompress everything together with John Collins and a lot of times with the team of what happened that day and what happened that weekend and just a t kind of a a team strategy meeting. What we're going to do next and. Uh, I get motivated because I hate to lose at anything I, with a passion. I hate to lose pulling out of the parking lot of the hotel. I hate to lose, I mean anything, I'm just, I, I hate to lose. <laughs> it doesn't take much to motivate me. I've got some pictures in front of my treadmill at home. Uh, one of me and Forrest, the first year I almost won the championship from Forrest at, when I drove for Don Perdome. And uh, I'm on the treadmill and I just stare at that. And I know how many championships John has won and I, it just motivates me every time I get on the treadmill. And, and, and look at that picture. Um, so it doesn't take much to motivate me. You come all this way, and you lose a championship by half a car length. Ron Caps, fourth time in his long career that he is the bridesmaid in the championship.